Sail faster, sail safer, in association with Pantaneous. Welcome to Sail Faster, Sail Safer, a series of videos presented by professional solo sailor Pip Hare. Very light airs can give us some of the most frustrating and demanding sailing conditions there are. Low boat speed, excess swell, flogging sails will have us reaching for the throttle and heading for home early. Holder of 25 world sailing records, Brian Thompson, is here to give us a few tips on how to keep our days longer and get the boat going in those very light airs. In uh, light airs upwind, some boats can have uh, five or six different sails to use. Um, and you'd always use the lightest and biggest sail possible. But uh, most boats just have one sail and what you have to do is make it as powerful as possible. And you can do that by easing the backstay to its maximum and easing the halyard enough so you've just got a few horizontal wrinkles in the sail. And that will make the sail as deep and powerful as you can. For the um, jib lead, you generally want it uh, towards the front of its range that you normally use and to watch out for the uh, wind shear which is very common in very in very light air is that the wind at the top of the mast can be very different to the bottom and you can judge that by looking at the the telltales at different heights on the mast and seeing how at what point they break relative to each other and you try to adjust the jib lead to make them break at a similar time perhaps the top just before the bottom but uh, whilst you're doing that, you also have to make sure that the shape, the shape of the sail doesn't become wildly wrong as you're trying to chase the, the wind shear. And sometimes you have to make a, a compromise and keep the boat, the shape, um, roughly correct. And for the, for the sheet tension, it's generally a little bit less than you would have in moderate or strong wind, simply because there's less power um, in the sail. So if you have a mark on the jib sheet, it's probably a little bit further away from the winch than you would have in moderate or heavy air. In light air upwind with the mainsail trim, you want to have the boom close to the center line. But because there's less pressure uh, from the wind in the sail, the weight of the boom often drags the leech down and can close it too much and, and not allow that top telltale to fly. So to avoid that, you have the main sheet eased to allow that top tail to, to fly and then you take up on the traveller car. So often the traveller car will be well to windward of the centre line of the boat. The main sheet will be eased and the boom will, will rest on the centre. For the other controls the uh, main halyard will be eased uh, so there will just be a few horizontal wrinkles in the luff of the main. The Cunningham will be completely completely off. The um, backstay will be eased just so there's almost no tension in it just to stop stop it flapping around so the mast is as straight as it can go and on the out hall I'd ease it just very slightly from uh, from from say a uh, windy windy conditions I think personally you can play with the out hall a bit too much and have it too eased in uh, light airs it still needs to be uh, perhaps only two inches two inches off the uh, boom what well, steering in light airs takes a lot of uh, concentration. Even though you don't appear to be doing very much, you don't move. You don't try to move the helm too much. I prefer to sit up to windward, even in light air. But I know a lot of people like to sit to leeward. But I like to sit to windward to make sure the boat's going along a very, very straight course. Often, because you you can't move the boat that much to the wind shifts and there are more wind shifts in very light air it's good to have someone trimming the jib so that they can they can uh, keep up with the wind changes that you can't always keep up to, up with uh, whilst you're steering uh, weight wise if if you can move weight forward towards the middle of the boat near the mast and perhaps even to leeward that's uh, that's always a, a help so if you are the excess crew on board uh, they can always sit sit up by just the leeward of the mast and that, that will definitely help to lift the transom out of the water and reduce the drag on the, uh, on the hull.
sail faster, sail safer, in association with Pantaneous. <laughs>